We run 365 days of the year and it never actually stops unless we're, uh, we're changing things over. Tom, your story is a really fascinating one and your machine shop is pretty awesome. Can you just give me a brief overview of what it is that Bloom & Box do? Um, we're a small family business. We're an injection moulding manufacturer. We make a range of our own products, which include scoops and measures uh, for protein shakes and sports supplements, but they also go into chemicals and horse feeds. We also do a range of security products that go onto people's fences. And then there is a whole other range of things in there, including flooring, biodegradable plastics, and our own sort of new developments that we're coming up with. Honestly, what I think is your USP beyond your product is the mentality that you have behind your products because sustainability is so important to you. Your developments of products have come from waste of other products, is that correct? Yeah, so we make a lot of our sort of um, security spikes or anything that's not for food in recycled plastics and where we can we recycle all of our sort of production waste into those product lines so that we have an almost sort of zero percent product waste from manufacturing. So is that what's led you into investing with Fanuc and the Robo Shops? What is it about this product that works and sits with your kind of ethos of your business? Yeah, so Robo Shots are um, a key part of our sustainability as a business. Not only because of the sustainability, you know, we really like the Fanuc brand and you know what they offer. There's a lot of reliability from the machines as well as the build quality, uh, among other stuff. Um, you know, you can mould 100,000 parts the same without any rejects, which is a huge yeah. sort of side of things as well for sustainability because you've they're limited waste. You they're know. definitely under the covers with you, aren't they? You, you <laughs> definitely like Fanuc. I know you're Do a big love fan. Fanuc, yes. Yeah. Um, but the energy side of things is a really big thing. So um, we're able to save 33% of our um, energy costs with the Robo Shots, which has, you know, huge financial impact and can save us thousands over every year. And so what you've gone for, you've gone for obviously this st style of automation. Yes. With the, who decided on this and why did you go for this? Uh, this actually goes back to when uh, sort of Blooming Box was sort of first set up. My dad David was on his own and he needed help, um, but he couldn't always get it so he looked to automation. So the first thing he bought was a Fanuc robot. And from that point, we've been a Fanuc customer. And whenever we're looking for automation, they're the company that we go to. Tom, this is fascinating. How many years ago was this then? Your dad was into that mindset. Yeah, so uh, I think he bought the first robot in 2007 and uh, he's been using it ever since and it's actually still running in the background, uh, doing a different job, but it's still the same robot. Uh, from that point though, we've bought, I think, three more Fanuc 6 axis robots. And could your business run without this? No, that enables us to be a uh, 24-7 operation. We run 365 days of the year and it never actually stops unless we're, uh, we're changing things over. So this is a silly question then, because would your business then be profitable? I know the answer, but without these, like this is essential now. It wouldn't be profitable without them because the input needed to move products away would be too high. But also having the robots has enabled us to have more work. We're able to work more hours. We've got more capacity. So we produce more components, which in turn gives us more business. And your work in the machines, how do you find that? Yeah, I mean, I don't come from a molding background. I'm self-taught oh, and I am able to sort of run the robo shots with quite good accuracy. You know, I have a tiny bit of training and yet I find them really easy to use. So has it come from your father then? Yeah, so I'm actually the third generation. It was my granddad who was a, um, he was a molder going all the way back to the 60s. Um, and ever since, molding has been in our family. So yeah, I am, I'm the third generation of that line. And I love having met your family off camera. All of you have different strengths in different areas. And yours is the sustainability. You've got solar panels on the roof as well, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. So a big part of what I like to do um, is sustainability. And, you know, I'm, I'm big on my robotics and... and electrical components and building automation but as part of that I know how much power they use which has meant that I've sort of developed this passion for reducing that as much as I can so yeah we put in solar a few years ago um, and that's made a dramatic effect on our financial sort of energy impact it produces you know 30 to 40 percent of our power with the robo shots we're able to sort of manage almost no power from the grid and just solar through the summer months I mean, what an achievement your company is making. What, what are your plans for the future? We're looking at expanding um, our machinery, 
our product ranges and as well as our, our solar to try and increase that renewable power source because it's actually really, really beneficial for the business. I think last year we saved £9,000 on energy alone and with energy prices only going one way, you know, that'll only increase.